Hello, hello. So you guys have asked, several of you have asked anyhow about confetti and doing confetti paintings. Well, this is the perfect time for me to tell you what I do. All right. So this canvas is not what I would call really super duper heavy confetti. And let me explain why. So I'll show you a little bit up here first. Up here on this house, we had places where there was a lot of red and you could use multi-placer and do like lines, okay? Um, so I would not call that really heavy confetti there. Now when we're getting down here into this part, there's a bit more confetti. I've started working on this a bit, so let me show you. Like here is one color. Oh, uh, it's two actually. Um, this was black, and you can see, again, you can do lines with your multi-placer. There were a few little blacks here and there, like a little patch of black right here, five or six right there, that's black. A few black here, a few black there, a few black here, right? So here's what I do. I open up a huge section. This is how big my section is, all right? I open up that whole thing. That's the size of my light pad, okay? So I open up this whole section and I do the whole thing at once. I pick one color and I just start going at it, okay? I am currently working on this symbol right here. And you can see that it's like there's four, three, a few here, a few here. Um, so, you know, sometimes I could get out a four placer, like right here is four, here's four. So there's some little groups. Um, and so that's how I kind of do it. Okay, my camera's being really weird and being blurry. So hang on, let me try something real quick. There we go. All right. Now, you can also see that there's going to be a lot of lines here like this. This is not super heavy confetti. Now, people will say they, you know, have to color change a lot. You probably will, but you don't have to color change as much if you open up a big section like this. Now, if I was doing, say, a little four by four section here, there's probably 25, 30 colors in there. I mean, I haven't counted them, but just, you know, guessing. Um, and I would do this little small section and then I'd have to get it all out again. So I just open it right up, open up a big old section and just do all of that color. Um, down here, this green, you can tell the green background is the same green I'm doing up here. Okay. That's where I'm headed up here. Now, what makes this easier for me is I pull out symbols that stand out. Okay. I do the symbols that stand out first. I did the black because it really stood out and I could see it. Well, I'm doing this green because, well, look, the, look at how easy you can see that green. You can pick out that green easily. So I do that next, okay? Um, I'm probably gonna pick up this orange one next because it really pops out really well and I can see it very easily. Um, you do tend to miss some. I mean, you're just going to miss some no matter what you do. Your eye will trick you and it won't get every single symbol, but it, you can get most of them and then you have to go back and just fill in. Um, so, when I'm doing that, I scan the whole thing. So I'll like, you know, I'll scan this way, look across after I'm done, I scan and I just, you know, I look through one more time. So I kind of work in this kind of a pattern from top to bottom as I go across like this. Okay. So I'm here and I'm going to go up here and come back across and get this right. So I kind of do it as a, a scanning back and forth motion. And that gets most of the drills. But then, you know, like I said, I'll go for another really bold symbol, like these fours. I can pick up these fours and those will be easy. Okay. Um, then you see there's some hidden in here. When they're not by themselves, they're a little harder to pick out. But once you know what colors you're working with, like, you know, that this is green, this is going to be green. So typically, confetti will kind of group around the same color. So this is green and black 
and I'm going to add fours here, which are green, and there's more fours here. So if I start checking around where I already have drills, when I'm working with like the same colors, like here's a four. That one would be kind of easy to miss. It's in the middle of, you know. Check around the same colors. These are greens. Pick up another green, and then I, you know, I'll get a little cluster and I kind of work out. You know, start here and work out. <laughs> so I'll fill in a lot here when I add the fours. It's a different green. And then up here, you can see more fours, more green, more fours. So that would be another color I would pick up next. And then this arrow, probably do that red arrow next because that's going to be another green. Okay, so you see how I kind of work that? Start with one basic color and then just kind of start working around and picking out another color. Get the green, get the four, get the red, and I'm going to have a big section done here. Look at all the reds up here and the fours. So that's how I kind of do it. Um, and it works, you know. You don't get everything, but it works. And then like I've noticed this, I call it the hazard, this one right here, the hazard symbol. <laughs> there's a lot of those. So I would, might do those next just because there's a lot of them or maybe not. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll do a brown section or grays. These are browns and grays, I believe. Maybe I'll do those next and pick up browns and grays, you know, but do what pops out to your eye first and then kind of work around it. Like this is all going to get filled in pretty quickly before I go. These are blues and purples in here. Those are going to be the flowers and stuff. So I'll wait on those. Like look at this symbol. This one pops right out really well. That's another one. You could pick up those. So some are harder to find. Some are harder to spot. And just save those till the end until you have less. So, like this one. This one's kind of hard. It's light. It's a little harder to spot. But there's just some little tips for you on how I handle confetti. All right? I'm going to work on it for a little bit. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to work. And um, I'll show you how these little sections kind of start to fill in. All right? Okay.
four times before I move on. I go around each cluster that I've got started. Okay, because I know these are green clusters. I've scanned around them, scanned with my eye, <clears throat> and I've worked all the way up here. So I'm up in here, and I'm going to go around each of these clusters. There's fours around each of those clusters, and I'll finish those up. I've scanned this whole part over here, and there don't appear to be any fours over here because um, I'm not making these clusters of green leaves or whatever we're making, okay? There are some fours over here, I've noticed, and I'll go pick those up um, when I'm done with these. But that's kind of how I do it. I've been kind of showing you with my drill pen as I work, kind of, you know, I'm checking, checking, you know, and I don't always do that with my pen. I normally just do it with my eye, but I wanted you to see what I'm doing. And you saw there was places I could actually multi-place, like I can get four here, maybe probably three, you know, a little bit. So I'm going to just work on this some more. I'll kind of time lapse things for you and I'll go back in a little bit and I'll add this red arrow and I'll show you, well, when I finish the fours, and I'll show you how these clusters kind of have grown, okay? Um, maybe I'll keep going with the clusters and add the, the, the tan colors or the yellowy colors around the greens. That might be the way to do it. So it kind of all depends on what you got going on here. Um, I know that these are like going to be fence slats because this is the fence. So I'm going to have a lot of lines going this way. I'll be able to multi-place those lines. And then I know all the purples in the flowers are down in here and there's like several different purples in here. That's just going to be a hunt and peck mission. Okay. So there's a little bit. I'll show you a little bit more later. So here's another day's worth of progress. Not that I worked on it a ton because I didn't, but um, here you is about seven colors okay let's back it out for you a little bit okay so i got about this much done you'll notice i'm starting to get clusters like this is about five colors <laughs> um and it's starting to spread from the green i'm like i'll look at this cluster here for example and I see that there's still these little arrows in there as part of this grassy cluster. There's a bunch here. So I'm probably grabbing that next um, and filling in like around these clusters now. So that's kind of how I do it. And then it just starts to just grow and these little patches will get larger. I'll probably do E's next because there's a lot of E's around those clusters. The green clusters are about done. The next color I'd probably do was either this hazard or the C and, you know, keep filling in. I know that these colors are pink, are purples and blues, so I'm kind of avoiding those for now. This one I'll probably grab and fill in that cluster. And then I can just do some of these rows of things. Some of the colors there's a lot more of, like the hazard symbol. There's a bunch there. There's a bunch here. These are the slats of the fence, I'm sure. Um, and there's some in these little clusters I just showed you. So that's kind of how I work it. And it just starts to grow and grow and grow. Um, it looks really patchy for a while, and some people don't like that. But when you get those patches done, it's like, bam, you got like a whole picture. So it's kind of cool. Anyhow, like, this reminds me of like a poop emoji right now. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that, but it kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. Um, I'll do a little more recording uh, time lapse for you and show you a little bit, a little bit more. Oh, by the way, I put ABs in here. These green ABs, they're beautiful. Oh my gosh, what if I turn the light off? Oh, there we go. Look at Look at the green ABs in there. Aren't they great? And then this kit came with yellow. So there's yellow ABs in here. There's yellow ABs and I put in the green. Look at, isn't that great? And then one of these colors, I think the F maybe, is gonna be purple ABs because that's the flower. And I'm gonna replace those. 
It didn't come with those, but I'm replacing those. But look at the ABs in there. Look at them. Aren't they pretty? Right here in the green. Nice, huh? It's going to be so pretty. All right. I'm going to go work on it a little bit, you guys. Alright, so here is that section I was working on with all that confetti. Okay, this is what I was showing you. This is that section that's completed. Um, and you see what I was talking about. We have little clusters of color. So we had clusters of green, and I added an AB in there. We had clusters of purple. Okay, there's some more purples over here. 
So when you just start filling in the clusters, one symbol at a time, fill in this one and then this one, and you know, it's not so bad. And then we got lines here in the fence post. You got to just do lines and that was a, a lot of the same colors. You could do, you know, so that's how I do confetti and that's how it turns out. Look at those ABs up there. Ooh, look at those. Those are pretty. Yeah. I added a few ABs in here. You can't really tell. These are ABs right here. Oh, look at that one just twinkled at you. Oh, twinkle, twinkle. I love it when it does that. <laughs> it's just like stars. Just like, poof. look at my Oreo. The Oreo popped right out. There it is. But that's the section I was working on. Look at, see the sparklers in the window? Did you see those sparklers? I put some sparklers in the window. I did it, that one up there too. You can't see, but that's sparklers. But that's how I do the confetti, you guys. Um, in my live, somebody was like, man, you just don't do a small section, do you? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I open that bad boy right up and I just get as much open as I can and uh, use that color up as much as possible. So I do like a nine by 11 or something each time, that big section. So that's what it looks like when it's done. There it is. Look at my junk on the floor. Sorry. There it is. All right. I hope that this gives you some inspiration for confetti. Oh, look, I just realized those blues are his wing. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> those blue ABs are his wing. That's sweet. All right. Um, that's how I do my confetti. It's just an idea, but it works for me. And then you have a whole big section done at once and you had minimal color changes. I think I ended up with maybe two to three dozen um, that I missed and I had to go back and hunt and peck and get those. It never gets old to do that, does it? Just never gets old. It's so pretty. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching you guys and I hope it helped somebody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.